Hello, WPS team. Superintendent Kelly Bielefeld here with another Three Questions with Kelly. And I have the honor and privilege to talk to Beth today. Beth is from Restorative Practices and has worked a lot with the district. Um, tell us about Restorative Practices. What is Restorative Practices? So Restorative Practices, in a nutshell, is a field of study that really focuses on building relationships and strengthening communities. So we all know we're hardwired to connect, and we really want to focus and leverage in on building and sustaining those relationships so that when things go wrong, when we do have conflict, when we have hard times, uh, we've, we've proactively built that community so that we can ultimately restore it when needed. So you've been working a lot here in Wichita over the past few years. Yeah. What impact have you seen? Oh, I've seen a lot of impact. From the first time I started doing training, I think it was October 2021, um, I've had the pleasure of getting to connect with so many people. And I've heard from folks about, wow, the district is really doing things different, you know, or I feel like I've, I have more voice than maybe I did before. And most recently, with everything that you all are dealing with, with the budget cuts and the school closures, that really, from an outsider looking in, um, has been, I think, a great example of how restorative practices can help in really difficult situations. So when you spend so much time building connection and community and listening to what people are really wanting, um, like when you started those listening circles back, I think in November, leading up to this, um, giving some really clear explanation as to why decisions are being made, and then the follow-up with listening circles again of what people need you know, to move through. I think that's an example of how building your community uh, and strengthening it and strengthening those relationships ultimately help uh, when things do go wrong. Yeah, and it pays off in the end having yes. those relationships. Yeah. So, yeah. so multiple years in Wichita. Yes, What's yes. one of your favorite Wichita stops? What do you, where do you like to go? Well, I can't go home without stopping at the Nifty Nut House. Course, I have yes. like orders from family members <laughs> about what needs to come home with me. Yeah. So that's definitely one of my favorites. It's one of my favorites too. Yeah. So, well, thank you for being with us and thank you for all you do. Of course. Thank you.